Mercalli is the perfect tool for retroactive distortion removal and footage quality improvement. It can be used for a variety of fixes, from salvaging shaky and wobbly shots to video compression and restoring uneven pans or zoom recordings. Mercalli makes it possible to rescue and edit otherwise unusable footage. It's designed for all filmmakers looking for more polished results. Let's dive into the details of how to use it. First, import your footage by clicking on Import Media. Mercalli supports all common video formats in all resolutions. Next step is to analyze the video. Click on Stabilization. The video analysis is necessary for smoothing out the unwanted effects on some camera movements. After completing the video analysis, the video is stabilized, but you can carry out further detailed optimizations. By selecting the correct camera optics, a possible fisheye effect in the video can be removed. If no fisheye effect is available in your video, then select without fisheye. In color enhancers, you can optimize the brightness and contrast settings automatically in the video. The dynamic setting can be switched on, turned up and switched off with a simple mouse click. The view mode menu offers various options to display video previews. Use the side-by-side -side comparison of original and stabilized footage in horizontal or vertical split screen to see the real impact of your edits. Use the playback button in the control tab to review the video. Below, you'll find the timeline of Mercalli. The red playback marker shows the current position in the video, whereas the orange in and out highlighters can help you define a trim area. By creating one, you'll be able to isolate a specific section that will be affected by the stabilization. To export your edited material, hit the Export Media button and choose the desired format and hardware acceleration. In this case MP4 NVIDIA AVC plus AAC. All these steps are easy to follow and will guarantee professional end results. With Mercalli V6, shaky footage will be a thing of the past. Stay tuned for more tutorials.